Hey little beans, we are trying to reach 200,000 subscribers! To help us get there, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. Sometimes when we dress up in Royal High or look or search for outfit hacks in the game, it's easy to forget that there are lots of people out there who actually don't want to or can't use some of these certain items because they want to make sure that in game they represent themselves accurately to their own cultures and therefore can't use some of the items. So today, little beans, I specifically wanted to make a video with community submitted outfit hacks for those people who in the community can't really use some of the items and wanted to give you a video on all about cultural item outfit hacks or just some stylish outfit combinations you can wear to really showcase your gorgeous, gorgeous creations. Hey little beans, my name is B and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course, don't forget to use Stack Up B when buying Robux or Premium. You guys, I really wanted to make a video about cultural outfit hacks or stylish outfits for cultural items in the game. So specifically, I asked the community to send me your beautiful outfits and your outfit hacks that can go alongside appropriately with cultural items in game to make yourself look good gorgeous and be able to give you some options if you are somebody out there who wants to represent themselves accurately with their cultural items in game and not use outfit hacks that aren't relevant to their cultures. So that means I just really wanted those people to not be left out. I will say that a quick disclaimer, well actually Dolly's going to give you the disclaimer. Quick disclaimer you guys, all of these outfit hacks and outfit designs have been submitted by the community. We have done our best to make sure we removed any submissions that did not follow the guidelines lines for how to wear any of these cultural items but if anything is incorrect and we have missed it please educate us in the comments down below although we do feel we've managed to get rid of anything that is not culturally correct and hopefully we can actually say so and these are correct when you see them but like we say if there's any issues please do let us know absolutely you guys Let's get started. All right, guys, so the first one is a hijab outfit using December's dream shoes, December's dream bodice, not improvised, and Moncherie sleeves, celestial cathedral veil, and frozen luggage to finish off. So this was made by someone around the world, you guys, and I personally think this looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm super impressed by this and think you've done an amazing job. I love how this looks. I love the little suitcase. I love the accessories. And of course, you remembered that wearing the hijab does mean not showing any skin. So I'm really glad that you followed those rules and have given people an option for an outfit that they can wear. Next up, your bestie said a little hijab idea. First, use the hijab and glittering and Noel burrs. And second, use hijab and monchery set hat. I hope you like it. So the first one is using the burrs, you guys, which looks very cute. I love how pretty that makes it sparkle. I've definitely seen people in real life before who wear a hijab, obviously not being able to do anything with their hair because it needs to be covered, but instead choosing to wear like a little head accessory that just sparkle and glow and just glimmer a little bit and a little bit of personality, I guess, their own personality shining through without obviously needing to use your hair. One of the biggest things that you probably know by now is that most people utilize their hair to showcase their personality. And that's something that in this religion, obviously when wearing a hijab, they're supposed to cover. So it's nice to have these options to be able to express yourself still. And they also included the Monchery hat. Now, I don't know whether or not wearing the Monchery hat is supposed to be appropriate to wear with the hijab. So please do your research on that. I did look it up and from what I can see, people have said that if you do wear a hijab, you are allowed to wear a hat as well. So as far as I'm aware, you guys, this is acceptable. Violet shared this outfit, you guys. As you guys can see, this is a beautiful princessy, very regal and royal sort of vibe using these gorgeous poofy skirts and wearing the hijab as well. So once again, there is no skin shirt here, which is the most important thing, you guys. And we can see this beautiful dress looks actually really gorgeous. They've made it look very royal high, like regal royal vibes, but by respecting the culture at the same time, which I really appreciate. Next up, Sleepy Person said, Hey, I tried to make an outfit with the hijab. Please tell me if there's anything wrong with it if it's too over the top to be classified in a respectful way of making an outfit with the hijab. And as you guys can see, this is a very pretty outfit. Now, this is made by somebody who isn't a Muslim themselves, so please do remember to make sure you do your research before using anything. But from what I can see here and what I've researched personally, I don't think any rules are being broken We're wearing trousers. The skirt, obviously, is on top, but there is still cover, it, cover for the legs. With arms are all covered, the sleeves look gorgeous, and I love the details on here, which still look beautiful. And as you guys can see, these are the items that were used with that. 
Sweat, they said I made two, one with lighting and one without. I also made a hack with the star frost headband and the hijab. If there's anything else I messed up, please tell me. Amelia said, here's my one if I did it correct. Now, as you guys can see, this is a beautiful dress. I love it when people use this skirt, you guys. I believe it's the cottage princess without the um, apron toggle. It looks gorgeous. I love that they've made sure all the skin's covered again. This looks beautiful. Now, I can't quite tell what bodice that is. And the colouring here looks like there might be skin underneath. If there is, you would need to cover that. But I think that might actually just be the colouring of the bodice. Just because I can barely see because it's a little bit of a small screenshot. But it is gorgeous, you guys. And I really wanted to make sure that we were representing lots of different outfits here that were representative of lots of people in the community. And then Pixie Draw said, fuzzy warm frost hat plus the pop star burst. Sorry if it's bad. And as you guys can see, this is connected utilizing the hijab to make more of a larger headscarf. Again, you would need to do your research to make sure this is acceptable. But when I did research, it did say you are allowed to wear larger headscarves and larger hijabs. You are allowed to do little item additions on them to make sure they're acceptable. And of course, wearing hats with a hijab, I have read, is allowed as well. But I do want to remind you guys that every different country that follows Islam and follows various religions will have different teachings there will be core teachings of course that are written presumably in the scriptures that go alongside the religion to make sure people follow them but there are some slight variations depending on where you live and then Dolores Madrigal or Belarus said it's small but it's cute wear the hijab and take off your bangs if you're wearing bangs then wear the magical flower and color them both the same colors and you get something like this and as you guys can see it looks like a beautiful flower blooming on the side but making sure that everything as part of the outfit is still covered it's still acceptable and still culturally correct this looks gorgeous and i really like this thank you for sharing it with me and then maka said here's mine it's my recreation of hanfu hanfu consists of a yi i believe that's pronounced i'm so sorry if i said that wrong it's a knee length tunic tied with a sash a chang a narrow ankle length skirt and a big c a length of fabric that reaches the knees i tried really hard this and i've tried to make it as accurate as it can be and as you guys can see they've tried to make this as accurate as possible for a more asian culturally accurate outfit which i I love it looks gorgeous and assuming this is all accurate you've done such an amazing job this is a really beautiful outfit so thank you for sharing it with me now you guys following some guidelines that i've been given by the community i really wanted to make an effort to properly showcase what is an acceptable outfit to wear with a hijab now you guys if you're ever recording or making an outfit with a hijab and people you know in public or anywhere people can see you it will be more respectful of you to go ahead and make the outfit first so in other words you guys do the outfit first before you switch into the actual hijab before you put the hijab on just to make sure you're being respectful. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is actually toggle this into the pants instead. Because I do think personally the pants are one of the best things to go with. Now remember not to use these ones with the ankle boots because those ankle boots are not culturally accurate, you guys. So that you aren't offending anybody, you guys, and that you aren't doing this incorrectly because it's respectful to make sure you aren't. So then we're gonna go ahead and name the pants in the black color and the shoe burr. I want to make the pumps to be um maybe not white it's the actual tights or socks underneath that i want to be white there we go we'll make the pumps black still perfect and we've got these nice uh white buttons and then what we're gonna do you guys i do want to wear the skirt as well so i'm gonna go ahead and put the skirt on which again you guys you need to be careful and i i, I guess the main priority here is not only that you're careful but you're also making sure you make an effort to be culturally correct as best as you can. You definitely don't want to insult anybody with this, you guys. So make sure you're being careful and being respectful. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the skirt on like that. So let's go ahead and change the skirt to one that I would actually like. I think we will go with the non-sparkly version, I think. Then again, it's got all the snowflakes on it. So what I might do, you guys, is toggle to the glittery one and then actually make the glitter the exact same color as the rest of the skirt so that you can't really see it, I guess. Okay, that would require us to have the whole skirt be that colour. So I think that's nice. I think that works, doesn't it, you guys? Okay, so we've got a good little um, starting position here, basically. So I'm going to go to standing, walk packs, and change it to delicate by Jan Dongju. All right, let's go back into the dress up. So next up, we're going to do the bodice, you guys, which again, it's really important that you're careful with the bodice that you wear. I do suggest using the December's Dream bodice, you guys. You can toggle it easily, and it does make it nice and easy for you to actually make it... Um, 
not sure skin. Now make sure if you're using December's Dream, you are not using Improvise because there is skin through. You need to make sure you're using the correct version with the covers inside to make sure nothing is inappropriately being shown. And then we're gonna go ahead and match the colors up you guys like this. I want the undershirt to be the same and then the buttons to be white just like the rest. Now, when it comes to the arms, you guys, you need to be super careful. You need to make sure you're using these correctly. So what I'm gonna do for this, you guys, is I'm actually gonna go over to the torso. I'm going to go down to the December's Dream jacket it. And then before we color it, I'm going to toggle the jackets to be sleeves only. So we go ahead and toggle sleeves only. There we go. And then go back to dress up. I'm just going to reset my body here to body types and royal and woman. Now, something I've seen in my comments recently is a lot of people saying if you're not black, you shouldn't be wearing a hijab. Just a reminder, you guys, there has been some people talking about this on Twitter as well to remind you. You can wear a hijab if you're not black, you guys. Bear in mind that not all Muslim people are people of color. Many Muslim people are in fact actually white, you guys. Or not necessarily white, but they have very pale skin. Please remember that some people who are mixed race and from various cultures don't always have an obvious look that they are. I saw a lot of people getting upset on Twitter because they were saying like, I have say a black parent and a white parent. And so my skin looks very pale, but I actually am not super pale. I am mixed race. You should be making an effort, you guys, to at least be polite to these people and not be rude because for all you know, they could actually be wearing the items properly and you have just essentially assumed that they're not when in reality, they actually are. Now I am gonna put on some nice makeup, you guys. Now I don't don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm just gonna use a nice plain one for this outfit. Can we go for something like this maybe? Oh, that's so pretty. Who made these? Lady Jody. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna go for that one. And then of course we are going to put on the hijab, which obviously is part of that. Now I've automatically got bangs here. So let me take those off. Make sure that that is um, culturally correct, you guys. If your hair underneath like mine, the previous hair that you had is glowing, you guys, make sure you set to your hair to black. And in fact, if that happens to you, it is appropriate for you to take the hijab off, you guys. Go ahead and remove it. Go to the hairstyle section, find a smaller hair, set it to black, make sure your bangs are taken off, and then apply the hijab, you guys. You should not be applying the hijab while you have hairstyles on that are not appropriate. So there you go, guys. You can see that the hijab has now, obviously, no hair underneath that is being visibly shown, but the colors of the hijab can actually be really well made, you guys. So if we go ahead and make it the same, obviously you can recolor the hijab to whatever you feel is appropriate for you. I'm gonna go for the same colors as the rest of my outfit. And this, you guys, would be an example of a more acceptable outfit that you can wear when you're wearing a hijab. Now, I am not personally a Muslim, but I wanted to really show you guys the process of making an appropriate outfit in the game, because I think some people have been a little bit confused and there should be no excuse for us making an effort to educate ourselves. So here is an example of an outfit that you could wear with the hijab. Just make sure you guys are covering all of the skin up. Make sure there's no skin on shirt. Make sure you're doing it properly and paying attention to all of the correct cultural teachings. Now, of course, if you would prefer as well, you could actually, as an example for another outfit, you could actually remove, I'm gonna take the hijab off just in case any skin shows while I'm working on this. You could actually remove the skirt, you guys, to actually just wear pants instead. And then obviously you can go back and put your hijab back on if you want to. I think wearing pants actually looks really nice. One thing some other people also said, you guys, is that you can toggle the jacket to be the... Um, not sleeve, sorry, the, the overcoat like that. And again, it covers all the skin. It looks really nice. It looks very stylish, but of course it represents the hijab correctly, which personally I just think looks actually really nice, you guys. I think that's a really nice outfit. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys it's a basic way essentially to put on a hijab and wear an outfit correctly with it. So when you guys are making those outfits, please make sure you are making an effort to actively research, educate yourself, and make them properly. It's best never to offend anybody, you guys, and do this the correct way. And hopefully I have showcased that better this time. I apologize that in a video a while ago, I was showing the hijab in game, trying to explain something about the hairstyles with it, but I forgot to change out of one of the legs that I was wearing because they were behind flowers, which showed skin. And I didn't actually realize. I have since removed that from the video because obviously I didn't realize and apologized for it, of course. And I apologize again, you guys, but please make sure you are careful when dressing up in the hijab. Make sure you do it right. Make sure you remove anything that you shouldn't be wearing and make sure you're vigilant when you are making the outfit. Just a care to me, you guys. I always forget that this toggles. I wonder if I would prefer the over December's dream toggle. Wait, why is it reset the colors? Hello? Why have you reset my colors? Girl, did I ask? Girl, did I ask for you to mess all my outfit up? Hello? I just want to see if the December's dream bodice looks nicer in that other toggle.
with what I'm wearing. But you've ruined everything. Ah! Okay, never mind. Don't touch. Don't fiddle. Leave your outfits alone. Royal High hates me. Don't do it, okay? Just don't do it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe and click that bell. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video or found it useful. And if you have more cultural video ideas you'd like me to share, please let me know because I'm all for representation and inclusion, you guys. So please let me know. Don't forget to start copying and buying Robux or Premium. Click that bell. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Also, by the way, once I reach 40,000 followers on Twitter, I am going to be giving away 100,000 diamonds you guys in my discord server so make sure you follow me on twitter the link is down below it's at bplayersrblx i'm really trying to grow my twitter right now so it would mean a lot to me if you guys could go follow and of course join my discord the link is down below i'll see you guys next time little beans and thank you so much for 190,000 subscribers by the way have a great day everyone goodbye